if you live in fear, you're not living. You're right. existing. Just always remember that. You want to live or just exist. You've got to be able to open your mouth and speak your peace. Not threateningly. I don't mean to go say, I'll kill you or this or that. No. Right. You know, I'll give you the rack of horns. Be able to speak your peace. Have wonderful, intelligent conversations with one another. People say one thing, never talk about politics or religion. Well, why not? Why not? I think you should. Good debate is fun. It's good for the mind. Don't get angry. Don't get mean with each other. But let's debate. I may not agree with you, but we'll talk over, talk it over, and have some fun over coffee or a few drinks or whatever. Is that so bad? Oh, don't ever talk over, talk religion or, or politics. Why? I love a nice, friendly confrontation and con conversation as well. My but, God, but, why can't we? Don't ever do this. Warnings, warnings. Well, these are really sycophants. Hey guys, it's gotta stop. It really does. Yeah, these are sycophants. Talk, you know, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. These are sycophants who who are so afraid of offending somebody and and having well, somebody me, they want to be like. But if you sneeze right now, you will offend somebody. You can't say boo. You know, you can't say boo anymore without offending. Something. You're always going to offend somebody. Everybody's offended. As I think I told you again weeks ago, I don't know what being, being offended feels like. I yeah. have never been offended. Nothing bothers me. You can call me every name a hole or whatever right to my face. I'll say, okay. I'm not offended. What is offended? Being offended feel like. Right. I'm not sure most people even know that. Well, what do we? What do we have? To, it's today's media word. Offended. Right. They use it, but I don't think they really know what it truly means to feel. I don't know if there is a true feeling to being offended. Well, we offended. can't. Yeah, we can't. I know. Well, we can't go through life walking on eggshells, for God's sakes. Well, we are nowadays, and it's wrong. We're going to have to build stronger eggs. <laughs> yeah, I know. Do yeah, ge I genetically modified eggs. eggs. Okay? <laughs> More leghorn. Yes. All right, fellas. Uh, okay, Billy, it was a. Uh, uh, you just heard William H. Morrow the third, our commercial yeah, voiceover special. I've got a lot more to say too. So yes. Till next. Time, people. Really, uh, enjoy life, people. Like you said, Jimmy, get off the eggs, you know. Let's stop. Let's have some fun with life, okay? Yes, lighten up, people. Yeah, really, stop letting every dissecting every word, everything somebody hits. Somebody says you look beautiful. They're not trying to rape you. Ooh. They're trying to just say you look nice. Yeah. If somebody is if, if somebody's short, you have to say they're vertically challenged now, right? Vertically challenged. Oh, <laughs> please. You know. All right, fellas, listen. Have a good rest yes. of the show and a nice evening. And all your listeners, I'll talk to you next time. Yes, Billy. Take care. All right. Everybody, you as well. Okay, thank you, Jerry. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Vertically challenged. All right. We might as well get sink our teeth into these <laughs> readings. It's interesting that the only positive thing Governor Christie's supporters cite is his reaction to Superstorm Sandy. Stronger than storm! I'm so sick of that commercial. Few people that don't live in, in New Jersey may not know this, but they, they bombard us with this... Uh, this uh, sappy commercial with this annoying song called We're Stronger Than the Storm and then Chris Christie is sitting by the beach with other people and he says, oh, we're stronger than the storm, which is bullshit because Mother Nature will take you out in a second. <laughs> and I don't care how strong you think you are. I know what he's doing. He's trying to look like a, a Hurricane Sandy hero so he wins re-election. Or... or to mention how well Christie gets along with Bill Clinton. He, oh, he, oh, he's been hanging out with Bill Clinton now. I thought Bill Clinton was uh, was the feel your pain ex-president, Democrat. Well, he didn't feel the pain of the welfare moms uh, when he and Newt Gingrich changed welfare as we know it. Yeah. He didn't feel the pain then. He was the corporatist, Bill Clinton. Yeah. The irony is that the Republican Party criticizes the federal government for being too big and condemns its involvement in our lives, except when they need to be bailed out 
or to block women's rights to choose. That's right. What has Christie done for the state? Uh, be, be done for the state, or yeah. or the, well, to he, the state. We know he's done a lot to the state. Yeah, yeah But yeah. he's done only. He's done for the rich, not for, for the the people of New Jersey. My taxes continue to rise at pre Christie rates. Our unemployment rates continue to be among the highest in the country. True. Nothing has been done to repair or advance our infrastructure. I cannot say why individual Democrats support Christie. I do know that it is not for his extraordinary leadership, infrastructure growth, or financial acumen. Perhaps it's political. Perhaps they do not wish to be blackballed. Perhaps they don't want to be any bold. Yeah. Have any balls at all? Yeah. Well, I do. Well, that's for sure. Uh, you know, and uh, uh, because of the U.S. media, um, the American people, the, 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 the citizens of New Jersey do not have any other alternative but business as usual, which is sad, you know, because really Bill Clinton should not be hanging out, making buddies with Chris Christie. Of course, it was because of Bill Clinton signing the uh, Modernization <laughs> Act that, that did away with Glass-Steagall, which allowed, it was the last, the last bar against Wall Street going nuts like they did. Bill Clinton, give me a break. Um, um, well, John Kerry, um, he's now Secretary of State, right? Correct. Secretary of State John Kerry, when he was running for president way back when, uh, just nonchalantly says, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about corporations outsourcing American jobs. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, now, there is. as a Democrat, he could have said, well, there is something I can do. You want to outsource American jobs? I could make it very uncomfortable for you when you bring your products back to the U.S. because I could tariff the hell out of them. Oh well, no, but he didn't say that. He would need Congress or the Senate to do that. But there are executive orders that he can issue. Okay. You know, like even Mr. Obama, he has the he has the ability to do certain things mm -hmm. without the okay of uh, the House and the Senate. But I haven't seen him do a lot. No, I have not. Okay. In my opinion, the United States government is slowly taking away the rights of free speech and freedom of religion, which are guaranteed under the First Amendment of the Constitution. The Second Amendment right to, to protect ourselves also is under attack. And now, the National Security Agency has taken away the right of privacy, which is guaranteed under the Fourth Amendment. Sadly, most polls indicate that this is acceptable. Benjamin Franklin said it best. Those who are willing to lose a little freedom for security deserve neither. That's very true. Uh, that, well, the forefathers did forget to create one extra amendment, and that amendment would be not to not to tamper with any of the amendments. Well, that, they haven't tampered with them. Well, what they're still in effect. They just made them of no effect. <laughs> That's all. Well, isn't that tampering with them? Well, here's the thing. Like G.W. Bush says, it's just a damn piece of paper. Do you have a lot of money? It's not. Uh, uh, personally, yeah. no. Okay, well, if you did have a lot of money, you could take them to court on constitutional grounds and bring the Constitution back into effect. But who's going to do that? Well, because all the... All the um, 
unconstitutional shenanigans that have been going on are for the wealthy, are benefiting the wealthy. Exactly. So why would a multi-billionaire, like if old James O over here was a multi-billionaire, why would I want to uh, 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 bite the hand it feeds me. that feeds me? Exactly. Or cut my nose off to spite my face? Exactly. Why would I do that? When I was a high school sophomore in 1947, yeah. my sh teacher showed us a movie clip of the house I live in with Frank Sinatra singing the title song. That song, which was about freedom, liberty, and democracy in America, made me proud to be an American. During the past 237 years, hundreds of thousands of American troops have fought and died to protect our freedoms. But President Obama, in effect, is now telling us that he has to destroy our democracy in order to save it. Mm -hmm. By repeating the fear-mongering tactics of all authoritarian figures since time immemorial, mm -hmm. Obama has been successful in frightening most Americans into giving up their freedoms. Albert Einstein had it right when he warned that blind belief in authority is the greatest enemy of truth. Obama is guilty of violating our Constitution when the National Security Agency spies on Americans here at home with drones in addition to collecting their telephone calls and emails. But he's not alone in this effort. Mm -hmm. With few exceptions, the Republican and Democratic parties have united in a bipartisan effort to take away our freedoms in secret. Two sides of the same coin. If we let them do this, the core fixtures of our democracy, the right to protest, and the right to live freely in the pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness, without government intrusion could be weakened beyond repair. Domestic government spying in America is nothing new. In the mid-1970s, in response to the revelation that the government was engaging in systematic domestic surveillance on domestic targets, U.S. Senator Frank Church, Democrat of Idaho, convene a Senate investigative committee that ultimately put a stop to large-scale domestic spying for decades. We desperately need a new church committee today. Absolutely. Absolutely. The birds? Too long! Really? Yeah! Oh. I got like... Really? It's that long? Five articles on it. Oh, well, now. don't... Well, don't... Like, don't lose it. Save it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. The recent U.S. Supreme Court ruling striking down Section 5 of the Voting Rights Act was clearly a conservative political decision. Oh, gosh. As the five conservative justices carried the day based on questionable logic. Hmm. We are citizens of the United States and only residents of the states. So why are states making their own rules for voting for federal offices? In order to provide all citizens equal protection, as stated in the Constitution, we need voting rules for all federal positions to be uniform. Because Congress makes laws that affect all citizens, all citizens 
should have the same opportunity to elect those officials. States, particularly ones controlled by Republican governors and legislators, keep making laws designed to suppress the vote. The proof is why the Voting Act was passed in the first place. Yeah, there you go. Bingo! Wouldn't need unions if we had loving bosses, did we? No. I get fair bosses. Nice bosses. Giving bosses. Long, long term thinking bosses, not short term, greedy, stingy, petty bosses. Absolutely. Even in the most recent election cycle, the U.S. Justice Department blocked many voter suppressing rules. Another big flaw in our system is that states define the voting districts and gerrymander districts' boundaries in line with party, with which party is in control. Mm -hmm. This is not democracy. Nope. It's fraudulent manipulation of the election process. Republicans scream about voter fraud, of which there is none. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they commit a fraud with gerrymandering. I would like to see our elected officials draft a constitutional amendment requiring uniform voting rules for all elections and an end to gerrymandering. Which has nothing to do with men by the name of Jerry. Nothing oh my to do God. With, nothing to do with men by the name of Jerry. Or Jerome. Jerome. Which is the real name for Jerry. And it's spelled a certain way. Not like these goofballs today have to be different and they have to spell authentic, bona fide names differently. This is what I hate about these, uh, you know, these these uh, horses ass nincompoops today. You know, they gotta they gotta they gotta take they, they gotta make up a name that doesn't exist or take an existing name and spell it stupid, spell it the wrong way. Stick to the king's English. Which king? I don't know. King James. King James. The King James version. Uh, of the Bible. He wishes that we stick to the King's English? The proper English. Like James. Like, like in other words, if you have the name that I have, don't spell it uh, with a G. Uh, um, if your name is Philip, don't spell it with an F. It's supposed to be capital P-H-I. Is it L-L-I-P? Thy will be done. Thou speakest, and it is done. Thank you. That's the King's English. Oh, that kind of English. Yeah. Well, that's, that's tough. King James. That's tough. That's not easy. <laughs> it's not always easy to understand, but you know, it's English. It's the King's English. I don't know why English language has so many silent letters. You know, it's like same sound, different spelling. You know. I, I, I threw the baseball, T-H-R-E-W. I walked through the doorway, uh, T-H-R-O-U-G-H. I don't know where, what the, who came up with the G-H. So it almost sounds like throug. I throug, I went throug the doorway. Very, very complicated it's English language. So you, you gotta really give credit to immigrants that learn English and, and become bilingual. Got to give them a lot of credit. I, I don't know any immigrant that is lazy. You hear this, Republicans? I don't know of any immigrant, any immigrant, even if they're south of the border, whether they be of color or not, I don't know of any immigrant that is here mooching off of American taxpayers and uh, you know co collecting social services and, and and being lazy 
they're all hard workers and they work many long hours so I don't know where the Republicans get their ideas from myth myth, myth. myth because they just <clears throat> they want an excuse to do away with government programs government right? period 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 whether it be so except for the military make it small enough well the corporations can rule that can't they well they want to privatize everything for instance right now they want to privatize education so only rich kids will will end up getting a good education right now supposedly we the government yeah. we we the people we allow our soldiers to go in to protect our businesses around the yeah. world so why wouldn't it be just much easier for the corporations you know to have their own soldiers and let them protect themselves the hell with the damn well, country if we ever have a a, re a revolution and uh what do you call a uh, um, martial law they better have their own private little armies to protect their mansions believe me they do protect their asses they do they better you saw all the private contractors in Iraq I, I, I posted an interesting cartoon of a uh, African-American gentleman in uniform uh, coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan uh, and realizing a bit, according to you know thanks to Republicans that he really didn't have the right to vote something about vo voter th does that have to do with the voter ID you think this crap that's going on now about voting you know they they want they want to discourage low-income people or people Hispanics, of color women blacks yes yes low income etc 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 anybody that would have the guts and the balls to vote democratic that's what it's all about they're targeting the the basically the democratic vote that's so they're right. using underhanded tactics Reverend Bill to win elections they know, to win elections because they can't win by policies the policies of the any. Republican Party are not supported by the majority of Americans correct so how are they going to get elected they're only supported by the top 20 percent you saw what Romney said about the 47 percent like they're 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 they wiped that off because had, they know they're never going to vote for them yeah exactly the rich bastards, you know, a, a poor with a, 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 a half decent education ain't going to vote for them. Mm -hmm. He knows the story. He knows what's going on. He's crazy like a fox. What if? He knows what's going on. He just got caught on audio saying what he said. Yeah. Because they lie to get elected. They have to. Well, As yeah, I they. Say. I care about you. I feel well, you. And they're all good Christians. And they, they don't know one word of the Bible. They certainly don't know one word of the Bible in concerning uh, economics and the finances. That's for damn sure. As the new God Project shows quite clearly. Yes, right. But they're not fiscally conservative like people think. You know, like you have said, oh, by the way, that's right. The God, the new God Project and the new Censored is on the Internet uh, via uh, YouTube, Google. You know, uh, Censored Archive Classics, Mega Life 21. Type it in your browser and you'll see them, all three of them. Mm -hmm. That's right, and you know, of course, the whole issue. This the recent issue. The new issue is out for free. With your gift to support this work. Uh, no, it's free. Online, it's free. To listen to. Well, to listen to. Yeah. You know, but we 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 still You're need. You're too damn lazy to read it. We still need your gift to support this work. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> we have. Um, uh, there's a new series uh, which began, um, uh, I guess, when, when did the, uh, the first issue of uh, how, to, how to Defeat a Conservative appear in the newsletter? In the newsletter. About nine months ago? About nine months ago, because 
uh, Dr. Bill had already finished with sexuality a hole. Blah, 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 blah. A -hole. Sexua not a hole. Oh. He already finished with sexuality a holistic approach. So now, you know, we have uh, How to Defeat a Conservative series and all three readings censored How to Defeat a Conservative Part 3 and the new issue of the God Project, uh, which is uh, God's Economics versus Capitalism. Very fascinating subject. Um, we, because of certain sabotaging that was done, I will not get into details or name names, but we are no longer, and I could not remedy the situation like Dr. Bill explained to me Wednesday, we are no longer on the pirate radio network, but um, all is not lost because the readings, the shows, uh, are on playlists uh, from YouTube, Google. Just simply go to the same link, the same uh, Mega Life 21 progressive internet talk radio station, and all the playlists are there. And then if you want to see the other shows that we do, you just simply click on the link and you will go to the uh, Megalife, Megalife 21 YouTube channel and you will see the balance of our shows. Most recent and archived shows. So all is not lost. They're all there. Actually, it may be better this way because all of our shows are on demand. So you can just go there, select what you want to hear and click on it and listen to it and pause it and come back to it you know actually it's a better thing so uh, when you go to the station you'll see the uh, most recent progressive discussions and then you'll see censored the readings of censored and then you'll see um, um, holistic health talk by myself done by myself James and then you'll see uh, barbecuing with Mega Life 21 being that foodies are so popular today and uh, you'll see the uh, playlist for Can Create that is there to see the God Project video playlist you go to the Cyber Church of God and to see all of our other shows you simply go to the YouTube channel Mega Life 21 so all is not lost so are you still on that reading no I got a new one. You got a new one? Okay. And then Same I'll thing. And then I'll show you one of my early um, birthday presents this year that I received that I find very fascinating. And I want to show it to... Western Digital. I want to show it to the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman as well as our viewers.